Hey there bosses and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sell an ebook or any digital product from your website using a tool known as Gumroad. Gumroad is free to use. However, when somebody buys one of your digital products, Gumroad will take a small, and when I say small, really small fee. I, I highly recommend them. I've been using them for about five years now and I've loved my experience with them. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Gumroad to sell sell from your website. Let's jump into the tutorial. All right. So right here, we are on my website. If you go to genondra.com slash shop, I have the create and prosper shop and this book here is on Amazon, but this ebook here is on Gumroad. All right. And so I have it here on my website and I'm going to show you exactly how you can create something like this. So first of all, let's go into Gumroad. So, so at this point, I'm assuming that you would have already created your digital product. Okay. And so that, again, that could be your ebook and now you're ready to upload. Okay. So when you're ready to upload, you're going to go into products. Okay. And then once you go into products, you're going to click on new product. All right, and you can start selling today. You can have a pre-order date. I never really do that. You can have a membership. Um, I never do that, but I, I usually do the start selling today. And so I'll click on that and then you can name your product. And so let's name this test document, right? Because it's a test. And then you can put your pricing in here. So whether that's $10, $7, you can do whatever. You, another beautiful thing you can do with Gumroad is you can give it like a minimum. So like you can have people do a pay what you want, which I really love about Gumroad, by the way. You can have people do a pay what you want. And so you can do five plus. And that means that the individual purchasing the ebook could pay you $5 and above. Um, and that has worked well in the past for me um of course later on i've changed the book to a set pricing but let's say you want to you're, you're launching and you want to use this as a promotional tool it's a really great way for you to do that if your product contained physical goods then you would click this little button here then we're going to click on next once we click on next you can go ahead and type in your description here and over here i say you know sit down and really think about the benefit that the person that is going to purchase this book is going to get do not leave this blank. Okay. The temptation, um, with, with these things is that you're so excited to put an ebook out there. And so you may not put in a description. Don't do that. Make sure to put in a description. And if you have a cover, you're going to put that there for this, the purpose of this uh, tutorial, we're just going to upload the document. Okay. All right. So let's do that. So you're going to scroll down to content and then you're going to upload your file from your computer and I'm going to go into my desktop and choose this text doc that I have. It usually takes a few seconds to upload. It's super, super easy. Um, and there are a few things that you can do. It says here, generate a unique license, key per sale, stamp PDFs with your buyer's information. And I guess these are all ways to prevent people from buying your stuff and sharing it illegally. But to be honest, this already happens. I wouldn't worry about it. I just focus on those who really want to buy your stuff because the people that steal your information, to be honest, they never do well anyways. So I wouldn't worry about them. Um, so once you, if whichever one you choose, um, it's up to you. I don't usually check these boxes, but once I do that, I will um, put in the price. And again, if you do something like this where it says five plus, then what you're saying there is that people can pay what they want above $5. Okay. So once you've, you're done, you know, you can offer variations and so on and so forth. We usually don't need all of those, but once you're done, you can simply save the changes. Okay. And then once you've put in the name of your document, the description and the cover, you can come in here and actually customize the link. I like to do that so that it's easy for me to remember, but 
then I also have it in my shop on my website. So I'm going to use a link on my website anyway, but if you wanted to give the link quickly to people because you don't have a website, you could come here and change this and let's say put in test doc. Okay. So you could type in anything here. So it's going to be HTTPS, um, the colon with the slashes gum.co slash whatever name that you put in this little box here. Once you're done, you're going to hit publish. Okay. So we're going to put this test doc here. We're going to hit publish. And then it says it's published. So once it's published, there's a few ways that you can begin to share this. Of course, you can share this to social media, but there are two things that you can do that I really enjoy about Gumroad. You can either copy the URL or the link. Okay, so you can copy that. Now it says it's copied. And then you can log into your website. I use WordPress, so I'm going to log into that. So here I am logged into the back end of my WordPress. I'm going to create a page. So I'm going to add, go to pages and I'm going to add new. So like you saw on Gumroad, you will have a link that you can share. You can just copy and paste that and share. But if you have multiple products, I think it's just really smart for you to have a storefront or a shop on your website. So here's how you can do that if you use WordPress. So I came in here, um, I added a new page and I put this title in here, buy my books. You can put whatever title you want. You can put shop. I already have a shop created, so I didn't want to create another one. And um, of course, this is, you know, the, the WordPress generated link. I can change that later. So if you wanted to do something like I have right here, this is how you would do it. Okay. You would, um, first of all, add the cover of the book. And so I think I should have the cover somewhere in here. So if you didn't already have it uploaded, you would go into upload files, select files, and then it would open up a dialog box and you'd be able to select an image. But because I already have some cover images here, I'm just going to use that. So let's just choose this cover here from my book, Rain at Freelance Writing. All right. And we're going to insert that into the page. Now, a thing that sometimes people don't realize is that you can um, resize images in WordPress. So in this case, I want it to be a text wrap just like this one here. So I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to choose. So if you hover over the image, you'll see different positions in which you can place the book cover. I'm going to place the book cover like so, but I'm also going to make this smaller. So I'm just going to hold that and drag it down and resize the image. Okay super easy. All right. So now the image is going to be, um, shifted here to the left. All right. And then whichever description I wanted to put, and I'm just going to go to this page here and then copy this description that I have. Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go ahead and then paste that. All right. So now I've pasted that text. And once I paste that text, I have the book image here. I have the text here. Now, of course, we also want to add that buy buttons that people can click and purchase this book. I'm going to show you how to do that. In WordPress, I use a tool known as a plugin known as short codes. But first of all, install the plugin on your WordPress um, backend. And then once you do that, you'll have this button here, insert short code and then you can go to the button option. Okay. Now, once we go to the button option, we're going to wait for this to load up. We're then going to take the link that we copied from Gumroad and then we're going to paste it right here where it says link. All right. And you can choose a color. I chose a simple black color. The text is white. Okay. Um, the size can be smaller or bigger. Let's make this a little smaller. That's a really wide one and then we're going to scroll down um i don't usually mess with anything else apart from this and then since we um you know did this at pay what you want price i say grab this ebook for the price that you want and you can do a live preview of the button and we have the button so once that is done you're just going to insert the short code okay and the plugin is going to insert the short code at the bottom of this text when we go into preview, you'll see, you'll see that here, the book, the book cover is right here. 
your description is right here and your button is right here and when people click this button it's going to take them over to the gumroad pay page okay so it's going to look like this if you had a cover image and when they click i want this and when they click i want this it's going to ask them to name a price that they want they're going to put in the five dollars click I want this and then it takes them to this page right here and then they can enter their card information and pay and as easy peasy as that you have sold a digital product if you enjoyed this video here are some other videos for you to watch on how to create ebooks and sell them online